again, uh, again, I'll try to do it. Uh, uh, join us. Okay. So guys, anyways, I see that the camera is not working, but I'll begin anyway. I would like to thank Benjamin and uh, and uh, to tell uh, to say it's a great honor for me to represent the Israeli embassy in this beautiful forum. I heard uh, what Gilad Segev has to just mention, and I definitely can echo that. Um, uh, this is a great honor to be here. Um, I hope that next year, in 2022, we can meet actually face to face and do this conference. Um, I told Benjamin that we would. I, I think it's a good idea to probably start by showing a short video clip of the latest innovation in the Israeli scene. And maybe afterwards, let's talk a little bit about uh, what can we collaborate with China in this aspect. So Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah. The medical revolution is in full swing. All fields of medicine are changing, improving, renewing. The past year showed us that the growing need for innovative technologies used in developing more precise, personalized medicines and treatments is already becoming reality. Among the leaders of this revolution is Israel. The Israeli high-tech environment is one of the leading environments or ecosystems that can enable this. They have some of the best scientists in the world. People think outside the box and look for creative solutions to problems. Yes, Israel is an international center of innovation with groundbreaking technologies in health, in cyber, in smart transportation, and alternative energy. Israeli innovation in the field of personalized medicine combines biology and engineering. It's called bioconvergence. What exactly is bioconvergence? Biomics is the only clinical stage phage company out there that targets chronic indication. We deploy phage, which are viruses that infect specific bacteria. NanoRetina developed a small camera that is implanted inside a patient's eye. Our technology translates light and optical signals into electrical pulses that enables vision to the patient. The technology that we have developed is under the title bioconvergence. We have chemistry, engineering, biology, immunology. Size Bio we biofabricates tissues from human cells. We take 3D printing and we combine this together with the biology, which essentially brings us the capability to fabricate the tissue in the same anatomical structure as it is in the human body. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Because when you're able to collaborate with multidisciplinary capabilities like ICT, big data, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, then you can create integrative, creative, and innovative medical solutions. The Israel Innovation Authority creates national and international networks and provides with funding to initiate projects. Many of Israel's startup nation streams parallel Jefferson streams. Because of Israel's exceptional innovation ecosystem, we've developed a series of creative partnerships across a spectrum of Israeli institutions. So let me ask you a question. If Israel is at the forefront of bioconvergence with the world's most advanced technologies and some of the world's leading medical research centers, and when $40 billion worth of worldwide profits from medicine stem from Israeli inventions, can you afford not to be here? People who hate Jews, to an, okay, so. an even more comfortable to turn the hatred against a human category into the political hatred. Benjamin, can you can you guys hear me? Benjamin. Okay, good. So um, this clip just imitates um, one example of uh, how uh, China and Israel can collaborate in the, in the field of innovation. I would just say that last year was probably one of the most successful uh, uh, years in aspects of trade vis-a-vis um, -vis Israel uh, and China. We saw a, a trade volume of 17, almost 17 billion uh, US dollars. A lot of that is based on innovation and technologies. 
Um, so I think that um, in that sense, China and Israel uh, should and must collaborate uh, in, in order to bring prosper prosperity to both of our peoples. Um, I think uh, former uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called it a match made in heaven when he was here in 2017. And he, and he was referring, he, he was saying it quite nicely when he, he said that the Israeli abilities of innovation and chutzpah that you guys might have heard of uh, are taking, are taking uh, uh, the, the, pro, um, the project from zero to one, and then China would take it from one to 100. Um, and, and I think that this is uh, a thing that uh, imitates the, maybe perfectly the, the collaboration that we might uh, have as, as two great nations. Um, I would like to mention also that uh, this year we mark the 30th anniversary uh, of the Israeli-China uh, diplomatic relations. Um, this is a big event for, uh, for our embassy, for our countries, and we do work very hard and very closely with the Chinese officials to, to do uh, activities in the, in the fields of uh, um, culture, um, uh, academy, sports, and so on. Um, just last month, uh, November 17th, uh, President Xi and President Herzog had a very good uh, phone conversation. Uh, and in that, in that phone call, uh, uh, President Xi mentioned that uh, he, he is uh, waiting uh, uh, for the JCIC, uh, which I saw that there is later on a panel uh, on, on this topic. This is actually the government to government meeting between our countries. And, uh, and I think that this uh, might take place in uh, 24th of January, uh, which is the specific date where they signed the the agreement of the establishment of the diplomatic relations. Um, so yet to be uh, come in this aspect and uh, we waiting to celebrate that. Other than that, I think um, Israel, as you guys know, is facing many challenges. Um, challenges uh, because uh, we live in the Middle East and this is a tough neighborhood. Um, but uh, maybe in, in a looking uh, to the future optimistically, um, this year we also marked the uh, these days, we also mark uh, one year for the Abraham Accords, um, where Israel signed a peace, a peace agreement with the, the UAE, uh, Sudan, and Morocco. And we already see a um, great um, leap forward with, uh, with the relations with these countries. Many Israelis are traveling to the UAE. Many Israelis are traveling to Morocco. Um, and, and the rate of, uh, of uh, exchange of uh, knowledge and, and culture between our countries is just flying. Uh, I hope, and on behalf of the embassy and of course Israel, we do hope that uh, this is just the first uh, uh, birds that uh, we see and, and many are coming afterwards. Uh, hopefully in the upcoming year, we're gonna see more countries joining those Abraham Accords. Um, with these regards, I would like to I conclude and uh, wish you all a great forum. Uh, I will be staying. I, I will stay tuned and, of course, listen to uh, most of the panels. And I, I want to thank Benjamin Pang and all of you guys for the friendship and uh, and uh, your work to to bring our peoples together. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, and.